Is the Video Express 2.0 lifetime deal the best bargain in AI video right now? Or is it just a massive waste of money? Well, I decided to put my money on the line for the all access plan to find out for you. Every single day, it feels like a new AI tool pops up promising to make video creation effortless. They show off these incredible Hollywood level clips and dangle the promise of a revolution for a simple one time fee but we've all been hyped up and let down before. In this video, we're going to push past all the marketing fluff and put Video Express 2.0 through a real-world test. I'm going to test major features they advertise, and by the end, you will know for certain if this tool is right for you, or if you should just save your money. First off, let's look at what they're selling. Video Express AI presents itself as a game-changing app that can turn simple text prompts or your images into incredible AI videos in a flash. They're promising a huge suite of features, AI prompt to video, image to video, making photos talk, removing objects, video in painting, face swapping, the list just keeps going. It sounds like the perfect all-in-one tool, especially when they use those magic words. Lifetime deal. But this is where things get a little tricky. You'll see two main lifetime plans, a basic plan for about $49 and the all access premium plan for $179. And I have to be completely honest here. The $49 basic version just doesn't seem that viable. After looking into it, I found out that the basic plan can limit you to creating videos that are incredibly short, as little as three seconds long. You can't do anything truly useful with a three second clip. You're also apparently locked out of most of the powerful AI tools that make you want the software in the first place. So for this review, we're going all in on the $179 all access plan. All right, let's get into it. I've logged into my shiny new Video Express account. Let's see what this thing can really do. The dashboard is clean enough, and it lays out the main tools right in front of you. Let's tackle them one by one. First, let's choose the type of video. There are horizontal and vertical aspect ratios. Let's choose the landscape video. This, in the center, is the canvas area. Below is the timeline. We can drag this border to resize the timeline. We can also add and remove tracks from here. There are also undo and redo buttons, as well as zoom in and out options. Then on the right side, we have the tools panel. Here is the media library where our images, videos, and audio files are stored. By the way, the creators of Video Express will host our files for up to six months, which are stored in the media library. Now, to start creating a video using AI, click on this Create with AI option. We will quickly look at each of these features, one by one. First, there is the Create From Prompt section. This is their big headliner. Type in an idea and it spits out a video. You're basically working in two steps here. First, you describe what you want to see in the Image Scene Prompt box. This is where you paint the picture with words of your initial scene. You can pick different image styles too, like photorealistic or cinematic, depending on the vibe you're going for. And once the image is generated in the Video Action Prompt section, you tell it what should happen in that scene, like how things should move, what actions should take place, that kind of thing. You need not fill this if you don't want to. Then there are some handy extras you can toggle on, like sharpening faces if you've got people in your video, or letting it automatically enhance your prompt to make it better. You can even turn your video into a talking photo where a person in the image actually speaks. Now, I'm going to try a prompt. A photorealistic shot of an astronaut discovering a glowing alien flower on Mars. Cinematic lighting. We need to type this in the first box, which is the image scene prompt box. 
I am going to choose this Prompt Enhancer option and click Create. It takes about a minute to generate the first image. Okay, the image looks good. It did follow the prompt. I can save this to my library for future use if I want to. So now let's animate it. As mentioned earlier, I am not going to enter a prompt here. With the premium plan, the tool lets you generate a clip up to five seconds long. To do that, let me click on the video length booster here and click create video. The video will appear in your media library under the My Media tab when it's ready. It took around two minutes to generate the video. And here are the results. Honestly, I am quite impressed with the results. The astronaut's movement is smooth, the glowing flower has a nice atmospheric pulse to it, and the cinematic lighting actually looks good. It's not perfect but the quality is genuinely a pleasant surprise. Here's another one I created using the Create From Prompt feature. Next, let's see if it can animate an existing image. This feature is supposed to bring your static photos to life. I'm uploading a high-quality photo of a bustling cobblestone street in 1930s Paris. There is a vintage car, painted a deep burgundy. I want Video Express to create a video clip where this car moves slowly down the street, its headlights illuminating the wet pavement after a recent rain. And that's what I am going to enter into the video action prompt. Let's choose Photorealistic from this drop-down menu. I am also going to choose Video Length Booster and then click Create Video. And here's the video it generated. Seriously, I am impressed. The video quality is great. What really caught my attention is how smoothly the car moves the headlights actually create realistic reflections on the wet cobblestones, and the overall atmosphere of 1930s Paris is preserved perfectly. Of course, I am not telling this is the best tool out there, but considering the one-time price, the quality is really top-notch, far better than its earlier version. There is also the new text-to-video option. This feature, however, will be locked along with a few others, when you access the tool for the first time. It has a bonus feature, which you can get access for free, after leaving a review. I posted a review and got access to this feature and a few other added features, in an hour. Remember that two-step process we did earlier where you had to make an image first, then turn it into a video? Well, they've got this text-to-video feature that cuts out the middleman. You just type what you want and boom, straight to video. The process is similar. You add a prompt here, choose appropriate options, and click on the Create Video button. I have added the following prompt. 3D Pixar cartoon video of a man riding a bike in the countryside. And here is the result. This is pretty solid, like comparable to what I've gotten from other tools that cost $60 plus every month. Not bad at all. Now, 
Let's look at the Talking Photos feature, otherwise called the Human Talking Video. This was one of the premium features I was most excited to try. The idea is simple. Upload a photo, add some audio, and it's supposed to make the person's face move with perfect lip sync. Yeah, we'll see about that. I grabbed a photo and a voiceover file I had lying around. Quick heads up. Your image needs to be 16 to 9 or 9 to 16, or it just won't work. Don't ask me why. So I click Create Human Talking Video, and there are three options. Use their built-in text-to-speech, record something live, or upload your own audio file. I went with uploading my own voiceover since I already had one ready. Hit Create Video, and what the... Some random upgrade warning pops up out of nowhere. I'm already on the premium plan, so I have no idea what it's asking me to upgrade to. Fine, let me try the text-to-speech option instead. And here's what I got. Both the robotic voice and the video quality were pretty terrible. If you've ever used decent lip-sync tools like Hedra or HeyGen, this doesn't even come close. The whole thing has this weird, rubbery look that's just... off. Hello. Welcome back to the tutorial. This is a test for human talking video feature inside Video Express. How do you like it? Like, maybe if you wanted to make some goofy meme for social media, it might work as a joke. But for anything remotely professional, it looks straight up creepy. But honestly, I'm not too bothered by this since lip sync wasn't why I bought this thing anyway. I just want to pump out AI videos quickly without paying monthly fees. Let's move on. Next up is this consistent character thing. Basically, it's supposed to keep your character looking exactly the same across different videos and scenes. This means that whether your character appears in different settings, outfits, or scenarios, their appearance, facial features, and overall identity are preserved, providing continuity much like a recurring character in a film or a brand mascot. Here, we first need to upload a reference photo and choose the photo type. You can use human photos or cartoon pics. I am going to choose this. Here, we need to enter the image prompt first and generate an image. Now, let's create the video and see how it looks. And wow! After that disaster with the talking photos, this feature actually blew me away. I don't know if it works this well every time, but for this test, it was absolutely perfect. All right. Let's check out some of the other AI stuff they've got. There's this Stylize character feature that's actually pretty cool. Basically, you can take any photo and transform it into different styles. Cartoon, 3D, Pixar, anime, whatever, while keeping the person looking like themselves. Pretty simple to use. Just pick your photo and tell it what style you want. I'm going to use that same guy from before and ask it to make him look like a 3D Pixar character. And, yeah, that actually looks really good. Now let me turn this into a video and see what happens. Honestly, that's genuinely impressive. Two wins in a row after that talking photos mess. Next up is Object Removal, another one of their premium features. 
One important thing though, you can only use this on videos you made inside Video Express. Can't import your own stuff and edit it, which is kinda limiting. Let me grab one of the videos I made and try to remove these two people walking around. You just select the area you want gone, like this, and hit Create Video. It's supposed to use AI to magically fill in the background so it looks natural and seamless. In theory, anyway. I gave this multiple tries and, nope, the results were pretty bad every time. This feature definitely needs more work. They've also got a chroma key tool for green screen stuff, which works okay. The outpainting thing worked okay though, that one's just for images, not videos. They've also got text animations and filters. The text animations are pretty standard. You can add moving text that fades in, slides around, all that usual stuff. Intros, outros, lower thirds, the works. Filters include different video editing tools, such as camera pan and zoom, titles, auto crop, speed adjustment, and more. I haven't tried them here because I use a dedicated video editor software to do all those things. You also have a really extensive public gallery where you can actually check out all the creations from other Video Express AI users, reuse them, and get ideas from them. Now, let me break down the Video Express 2.0 pricing for you. They've got two main options right now. There's the basic plan for $49 one time, and they're even throwing in a secret 10 coupon for 10% off. Then there's the all-access plan for $179, also a one-time payment. Here's what you actually get. The $49 basic plan gives you 3,000 AI videos per month, but they're only three seconds long. The all-access plan bumps you up to 6,000 videos monthly at five seconds each. Plus, the all-access includes those talking photos we tested earlier, 100 renders per month, up to 30 seconds each. Bottom line, if you're gonna buy Video Express, go with the All Access plan. The basic version is pretty much useless. When you look at what other AI video tools cost, this actually makes sense financially. Runway ML hits you for $95 monthly. Pika Labs is around $70 per month. Even if Video Express only works for two years before they change something, you're still saving hundreds compared to those monthly subscriptions. The math is pretty straightforward. Pay once versus bleeding money every month. So, after everything, is the Video Express 2.0 lifetime deal actually worth it? Yeah, I think so. The main thing I wanted it for, turning text and images into videos, does exactly what it's supposed to do. The quality isn't going to blow your mind, but it's definitely good enough for most stuff you'd want to create. There are some features that could use work, but honestly, those weren't the deal breakers for me anyway. When you look at what other AI video tools cost monthly, this lifetime deal starts making a lot of sense. Even if I only get a couple years out of it, I'm still way ahead financially. Just go with the All Access Plan. I will leave the link to the lifetime deal in the description below. All right, if this review helped you make a decision, smash that like button and subscribe for more reviews and tutorials. I will see you 